I'm Jack Ruston, welcome to Ruston's Boneyard. Today we're going to make something simple, delicious and nutritious pan-fried sockeye salmon with steamed greens. I see sockeye cooked a lot online, often not that well. I'm going to show you how I like to do it. So first of all, we've got this beautiful piece of sockeye salmon. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it into portions and we're going to season quite generously onto the skin. We want this nice, salty, crisp skin. Now I bought this induction pot because I thought it might make it a bit easier for me to show you certain things on the side here. Uh, I don't know how it works. So we're going to have to just see. So I've got some tallow melting down in my skillet here. You could use ghee, you could use uh, some sort of oil. Uh, I wouldn't use butter because I think it's going to burn. And I'm going to lay my fish skin side down into this hot tallow. There we go. Now we want the tallow to be deep enough that it just covers that skin, but we don't want it coming a long way up the side of the fish. We don't want to sort of deep fry the whole thing. We just want to properly coat the skin. Now that's had a couple of minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a lid on it and I'm just going to turn it to a kind of medium heat. We want the skin to be crisping and we want the fish to be steaming and we want those two things to coincide. If we go too hot, we're just going to burn the skin. What I normally see, the mistake I normally see people make online is that the skin is uh, not cooked enough and the fish is overcooked. We're really not going to turn that fish over to, to touch the pan until really the very last minute. It's just going to kiss the pan once it's steamed through. And while that's going, let's prep some veg. So I've got some green beans here, and I'm just going to take the stalk ends off. Now, if you've just got a few like this, the easy way to do it is just to line them up and take them off. We're going to put those into our steamer tray. I've got some lovely uh, little broccoli, tender stem broccoli, ends off. Any big leaves can come off as well. And then we've got some asparagus. Now the trick with asparagus, hold it by the stem, put your finger on the end and just bend it. And where it snaps, that's the woody bit that you don't want. So just go through, let them snap where they want to snap. Now, if you're concerned about exactly how tidy they look, what you can do is then just line them up and trim the very end off so that they're nice and clean cut. Now, another thing that some people like to do is just to take a peeler and just gently peel off some of those little triangular um, little buds. You don't have to do that. And you know, normally, day to day, I wouldn't bother, but it's a kind of chefy thing to do. Now we want to keep a little bit of a weather eye on that fish. We don't want it to overcook. What we're looking for here is an internal temperature of about uh, 50 degrees centigrade, 121, 122 Fahrenheit. Now, it will continue to cook a little bit more after that as it rests, but you'll see uh, the kind of guidelines for fish cookery saying it needs to be at least 145 degrees internal, which is about 62 centigrade. Uh, it's going to be completely overcooked. Chop a little fresh flat leaf parsley, which we're going to use as a garnish. So I'm going to check my temperature on the fish now. I'm just going to use a probe. Let's see where we are. Yeah, that's 51. So it's ready to come off. Now, let's just quickly turn it over just to kiss the pan on that other side. Just wipe my hands. And I'm going to take it out, pop it on the plate here, just to rest and cool down. We're going to pop our steamer on. So this has been in for a couple of minutes and we're just going to use the tip of the knife. I'm going to test the asparagus. Yeah, this is done and the broccoli. Yeah, tender steamed veg onto our plate. If you've got very thick broccoli, uh, you need to be aware that it will take longer than the asparagus and the beans. Now we're going to scatter a little of that parsley over the top. 
and around the plate. We've got a little bit of butter here, which we can just pop on top to melt through those veg. Then here's an unwaxed lemon. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grate some lemon zest over the veg. I can just cut a wedge of lemon to go on our plate here. It's just so simple. Pan fried sockeye salmon, steamed greens, a little butter, a little lemon zest. Really, really easy to do, really quick. Nutritious, delicious. Give it a go, take a picture, stick it on Instagram, tag me at Ruston's Boneyard. I'd love to get to know you. I'd love to see what you've got going on in your kitchen. For now, keep cooking.